Hello, my name is Rajesh Totamaraj. I'm a second year cardiology fellow at Danbury Hospital, Connecticut. I'm also a member of the Johns Hopkins Chikaroni Center for the Prevention of Heart Disease. I'm the first author for an upcoming publication in the Mayo Clinic Proceedings entitled Ethnic and Gender Differences in Liver Fat on Cardiac CT. This is a secondary analysis of data from the multi-ethnic study of atherosclerosis. As a background to this study, one may ask, why is it important to identify ethnic and gender differences in fatty liver? There are many reasons why this is a significant topic. About 20 to 30 percent of the world's population and about one in three adult Americans have fatty liver. While fatty liver has traditionally been linked with atherogenic dyslipidemia, obesity and the metabolic syndrome, recent research has indicated that fatty liver may be a significant independent predictor of coronary artery disease. As a result, we opted to study the ethnic and gender specific prevalence of fatty liver and to identify cardiovascular risk factors which predict fatty liver in the four ethnicities represented in the MESA study, whites, Chinese, African Americans, and Hispanics. All patients enrolled in the MESA study had coronary artery calcium scoring performed at baseline. Those in whom both adequate hepatic and splenic imaging were available were selected for this analysis. Based on prior studies, a liver to spleen CT attenuation ratio of less than one was used as the cutoff to diagnose fatty liver. Patients with pre existing hepatic disease, excessive alcohol use, amiodarone or steroid therapy were excluded from this analysis. The overall prevalence of fatty liver in the study population was 17%. While there was no significant gender difference in the prevalence of fatty liver, there were notable ethnic differences as shown in Figure 1. African Americans had a significantly lower prevalence and severity of fatty liver, while Hispanics had a significantly higher prevalence of fatty liver. We focused on the risk factors known to be associated with fatty liver stratifying by ethnicity. The results for this comparison are shown in Table 3. While all metabolic syndrome risk factors had univariate associations with fatty liver, our multivariable adjusted model significantly altered these findings. For example, while triglycerides maintains its association with fatty liver, HDL was no longer significantly associated. Insulin resistance remains the most significant predictor of fatty liver demonstrating a two to three-fold increased prevalence of fatty liver for every standard deviation increase in insulin resistance. This finding was consistent across all ethnicities studied. Abdominal obesity, as determined by waist circumference, remained statistically associated with fatty liver in all ethnicities except African Americans, in whom it achieved only borderline significance. Of note, after adjustment for obesity and insulin resistance, Diabetes was no longer a significant predictor of fatty liver in any ethnic group. This is an important finding as it demonstrates the preeminence of insulin resistance and obesity as metabolic syndrome risk factors and as predictors of fatty liver. Table 4 demonstrates the prevalence odds ratio of fatty liver in different ethnicities stratifying by obesity and the metabolic syndrome. We found that while obese Hispanics and Chinese had a similar odds ratio of fatty liver compared to whites, Obese African Americans remain significantly less likely to have fatty liver. Our findings suggest that even after statistical adjustment for known demographic, lifestyle, and cardiovascular risk factors, African Americans had a significantly lower prevalence and Hispanics a higher prevalence of fatty liver. There are some genetic factors that can explain our findings. For example, genes that impair phosphatidylcholine production decrease hepatic VLDL production leading to fatty liver. Specific alleles of these genes have been found to be clustered in the African-American population. This can potentially explain some of the ethnic differences noted. From an imaging perspective, our findings are consistent with other studies which have used MRI and magnetic resonance spectroscopy. While these imaging modalities are known to be more specific for fatty liver, the similarity with our findings suggests that cardiac CT is a reasonable alternative to MRI in terms of diagnosing fatty liver. Cardiac CT, therefore, may provide not only a coronary calcium score, but also an estimate of the likely prevalence of fatty liver and, by extension, the metabolic syndrome. Just to summarize, in this secondary analysis of data from the MESA study, African Americans have a much lower prevalence 
and Hispanics a much higher prevalence of fatty liver than do other ethnic groups. These distinct ethnic variations persist even in patients with the metabolic syndrome or obesity, suggesting that genetic factors play a significant role in the phenotypic expression of fatty liver. Coronary CT offers a reliable estimate of the burden of fatty liver, as evidenced by the similarity between our findings and other studies. I'd like to thank the Mayo Clinic Proceedings for allowing us to present our findings in this MESA analysis. I'd also like to thank my co-authors, Drs. Mike Blaha, Roger Blumenthal, Kuram Nasir, Matthew Budoff, Irfan Zeb, and Ron Blankstein. I encourage you to peruse our article and let us know your thoughts and suggestions. We hope you found this presentation from the content of Mayo Clinic Proceedings valuable. Our journal's mission is to promote the best interests of patients by advancing the knowledge and professionalism of the physician community. If you are interested in more information about us, our homepage is www.mayoclinicproceedings.org. There you will find access information for our social media content, such as additional videos on our YouTube channel or journal updates on Facebook. You can also follow us on Twitter. More information about healthcare at Mayo Clinic is available at www.mayoclinic.com. This video content is copyrighted by Mayo Foundation for Medical Education and Research.